In this video, we're going to state two more properties that the definite integral has. These two properties are always presented together and are collectively known as linearity. So linearity of an integral, nothing directly to do with the linear functions in spite of its name. It tells you two things. Suppose we have a constant k. times a function f of x. This definite integral is k times the definite integral of f of x. So we're pretty limited in what we can actually do here as an example, because we don't really have a good way of taking integrals. But the integral from zero to two of three x dx is a three times the integral from zero to two of x dx. Let me emphasize, we can only move constants out. This x is stuck in here. And from our geometric examples, if we're looking for the area under x, from zero to two. This integral is the area under this curve, which is the area of this triangle. And the area of a triangle, one half, base times height, this integral should be a two. So this integral should be a six, three times a two. And we could check this. I mean, the area under 3x is also something we can compute directly one half times the base times the height. Geometrically, this area, which is this integral, is a six. So so linearity works. I mean, then he already said we could pull out. We pulled, um, pull three out. We pulled three out. 
that we got six in the end. Then we computed the integral one other way. We still got six. The linearity is two statements always presented together. Statement two if we're taking the definite integral of either a sum or a difference, then that is the sum or difference of definite integrals for example. The integral from negative two to two of the square root of four minus x squared plus x plus two. DX. Again, I'm obviously rather limited in my examples. If the area under the curves aren't nice geometric shapes, we uh, don't know what to do with them at this point. But this is the integral from negative two to two of the square root of four minus x squared dx plus the integral from negative two to two of x plus two dx. And we've already done this integral in a previous set of notes. We saw that the curve here is a semicircle with a radius two. And this integral, which is then the area of this semicircle, is one half times pi times two squared. were to pi. X plus two from a negative two to two Well, it's a linear, it's a straight line. At negative two, it's zero, and then it goes up. At positive two, this is y distance is two plus two or four. We're going from negative two to positive two. So the base is four. 
And the area of this triangle is one half the base times the height. So two times four, which is eight. Two pi plus eight is the integral we were originally asked for. Note that this is very similar to how we work with the derivatives. I mean, if we, instead of an integral, if we were asked for the derivative of this thing, we just have taken it piece by piece and added the derivatives as well. 